On our way, I told Martha the names of my trees. There was the birch, Jerusalem, and the oaks, Alexandria and Byzantium. When I pointed out Rome, she laughed and named an apple tree Southampton. The farther we walked, the merrier she became, christening all the new trees Winchester, Bath, Salisbury, while I grew quieter and quieter. Finally, we arrived at a large road. This heads towards Shiring, Tom said. The strangest name of them all. Okay, we have to keep going here. By noon, we had reached the edge of town. Mother gave us some dry prunes to chew while she argued with Tom whether we should head directly to town or past the palace of the so-called bishop. Tom was hopeful to find work at the palace, but Mother seemed uneasy. Yeah, she doesn't seem to like <laughs> the bishops and such. Um, let's go to town first. Mother seemed happy to head directly into town and avoid the palace. These churchmen are all crooks, she said. But Tom answered with a worried expression on his brow. They might be the only ones willing to hire a mason around here. Keep going to town. There might, you know, maybe someone in town needs a mason. You never know. You can at least ask. And if not, you can still go back to the bishop's palace, I guess, afterwards. It's not far Shiring away. Shiring was full of people looking for work. Ah. Mother and Tom kept asking around while we rested our feet at the market. Alfred gave me a look as if he wanted to punch me. But I only stared at the buildings amazed by the straightness of their walls. Finally, Mother called us over. Rumor had it that the Earl of Shiring was hiring all kinds of people. It was then that I heard a man in a robe say, That voice, it's her. Oh God. The witch, she was here ten years ago. But apart from me, no one took notice. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> You don't know me. You're misjudging whatever it is I did. I'm willing to forgive your mistake if you accept my offer now. This is all about family honor to you, isn't it? Perhaps I should tell you about my mother. She was a happy person who loved to laugh and tell stories. But father made her miserable. Oh, he's not a bad man, but solemn and strict. She hated him so much she died from it. Are you saying you don't like me? You're so self-centered. You never think about anyone else's feelings. You have no refinement and you can barely read. What were you expecting? One day you will see that you are wrong. And then I won't be so forgiving. All right. Let's hope it's true and the Earl needs us. Here, yeah, I'm starving. Alfred, keep an eye out. I'll be right back. And boys, try to get along. Alfred is like constantly grumpy. Papa wants him to look for things that are broken. Some people don't know they need a mason until you show them. Papa hmm. could fix their walls or build a house. One man can build an entire house? <laughs> I want to see. Learn what you can, but don't stray too far. <sighs> Why won't anyone just give me something to eat? <laughs> so hungry, huh? Okay, we have our sling sh uh, slingshot still. She's been to so many places and knows so much about life. She's not even amazed by this place anymore. Hello, 
Jack. Have you ever been to a castle before? No. Castles are very safe places. People don't rob you so fast. Hmm. Mother told me stories about castles, about knights and princesses. Oh, like what? Like the one about Tristan and Isolde. They drank a potion and had to love each other for three years. I know that one. Jack, do you think there's a princess in this castle? It would be so nice to see a real princess one day. Mm. Princess might be in a different castle. What is it with mother? She seems different. She's less m and more grumpy at the same time. Oh, she's using Tom's staff, huh? Stay sharp, Jack. People are rarely what they seem. See that knight over there? What does he look like to you? <laughs> a duck. Small bear. Sure, a duck. Why not? He looks like a duck. <laughs> Ducks fly away when they don't like you. Maybe he will too. Or he will smash your skull with his club. Mm. Isn't that Just a club? because we are out of the forest, that doesn't mean there are no wolves about. He looks a bit like Tom. Hey Alright, let's talk to him. Say, so what do you think about Tom? He's cool. He's big. <laughs> He's nice. He's nice. Well, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. He may seem nice, but he really doesn't care about anyone but himself. Whatever you do, he doesn't care. He'll just drag you into his own misery. So take my advice. If you and your mother want to stay, you better learn to shut up and put yourself second. That's all I'm saying. I guess he got a bit neglected there by Tom, huh? Alfred thinks Tom doesn't care about him. That's sad. Okay, maybe we can talk with Tom about that and, you know, show him this thought or whatever. This is where Tom gets water. A hole with stones around, rather set. I bet Tom could build a well too. Jack, be careful. Don't get too close. Yeah, you don't want to fall in there. Okay. Uh, this person looks really like... I don't know, it's like really bright compared to everyone else. Is this a gate? Okay. Well, I'll just keep going this way. Oh, cross the yard, cross the yard. I think it's the same way, maybe. Fully. Who is this fellow? William Hamley is an idiot. I wouldn't marry him either. She deserves someone better. Such a very bright and charming girl. Now, she's an arrogant one. Just like her father. Don't Jeez. think that. It's not arrogance. It's mobility. He has to be like that if you want people to respect you. I agree. She will do fine. It's the Earl's son I'm more worried about. <laughs> to think that coward is set to be next in line. At least he knows how to order people around. Right. <laughs> so much gossip, I love it. You go into town and bam, gossip. Hello, my name is Jack. Yep, they don't care. Walk up the wall. Walk back. Uh, don't want to go to the gatehouse, really. Across the yard. I wonder where you went, Tom went. Probably over here, I'm guessing. location yard west town follow tom okay uh rocks as straight as trees and an entrance made of wood so strange why is it strange because you get i guess you've never seen it doors locked huh? their clothes look so heavy how do they even move are you knights we are why you want to be like us like you tell you what Snatch us some food from the keep, and we might train you. Very good. That should be a valuable first lesson. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. Uh, to the keep. Tower. Walk up the wall. How does it not kneel over? It's magic. Architecture magic. Let's go maybe up the wall first before we go to the keep. 
Oh wait, maybe there was something down there too. In the corner. Alright, let's talk to this fellow. He has hair like me. Did he live in the forest as well? Let's talk to him. He's probably super drunk right now. What is it, boy? You just want to stand there and stare? Alright then, let's see what you've got. Uh, are you a knight? Are you a knight? No talking. How to be cheating. Oh, a staring contest. Okay. Avert your eyes. Okay, just wait and not do anything? What if I don't do anything? You're good. Could ah. Could <laughs> with that stare. Pierce it like an arrow. Ever tried that, boy? Stare a boar to death? No, but I can kill a deer with a rock. <laughs> Ooh, you know what happened to a boy who claimed he'd killed a deer? Only yeah. the king is allowed to, right? Aye, or the queen for that matter. Whoever has their arse on the bloody throne end of summer. Used to be that anyone could hunt, but these are proper times now. Decent and orderly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. At least when it comes to butchering deer, that is. I like this guy. Are you not already asked that? Will you be fighting soon? Will you be fighting soon? Why are you asking? All right, let me tell you a secret. Can you keep a secret? Sure. What color is your shite boy? Brown. Brown. Nice. Mine's gray, like ash. But that's a secret, isn't it? For my shite's color is neither your nor anyone else's business. So you'd better keep that to yourself. Got it? <laughs> Hmm. Are you a knight? I'll be damned if I wasn't. Would have risked my life for nothing if all I was supposed to do was bake bread. Be warned, lad. Get a job that pays. Not one where you have to pay for a new horse every time someone kicks your ass. Being a knight costs you, especially when you're also a drunkard. Damn. If only I'd known. Too late now, huh? Should I ask again? Will you be fighting soon? Still need to know if you can keep a secret, boy. What's my shite's color again? Uh, I'll just stare. It's Excellent. not your business. Looks like you can keep your mouth shut after all. You want to be in on the real deal now? Then just yes. say the words. What's your bloody secret, cat face? What's your bloody secret, Catface? Well put, boy. Well put. But bloody it is. We are all going to fight soon. It's for a thing called loyalty. See, all these knights are loyal to one man. And he is loyal to another. And he then is loyal to yet another, a woman, who is the rightful queen of the English. For some here, loyalty's all about coin and favors and power. But for me... It's all about whom I trust, whom I'd follow all the way to hell for all the right reasons. Going to hell together with confidence and trust. It's what's holding this world together, boy. Ah. So, you understood my little secret? I sure do. Good. Do you need a mason? Do you need a mason? Me? <laughs> Well, these battlements could use a fresh stone or two, but apart from that, I don't know a bloody thing about building, and I don't want to. All I care about is a good sturdy wall and some hot tar to keep my enemies warm. And that reminds me of a story. You want to hear a story, boy? Sure, sure. I love this guy. You should join our team. Well, you see, I'm not just one what? for a good oh. solid tar. <laughs> he just in my doesn't. day, I was also quite the stealthy nice. bastard, if I may say so. So this one time, me and my men lay siege to this castle. While both sides rested for the night, I took my crowbar and swam over to the enemy. There was this piece of wall where the mortar had gone away, and one could easily look through the holes into their courtyard. So what did I do? I smoothly tore a hole with my crowbar and snuck inside. Then, what you want to do is hit them where it really hurts. And that's not always the groin. In this case, it was their old well barely standing up. So, one kick, 
and all its rocks tumbled and covered the hull. From then on, they were without water. The shortest siege in the history of sieges. And not one man died. All because I had an eye on the wall and made good use of that well. That's what knights do. Knights do a lot of things, lad. Yeah, maybe we should go to that uh, to that town and ask if they need a mason to repair that well and wall. How did you end that siege again? I looked for a wall where the mortar was gone, and I kicked in their ramshackle well. Easy. Oh, that might be important for something then. Huh. What a strange boy. <laughs> what a strange man. I love him now, he's cool. Yeah, that might be important then. Might have to go kick something. Okay, there are stables down here. Uh, where am I? Oh, there I am. A house for horses. These men must be very kind. They treat the animals like people. Let's go to the keep. Oh. Oh, it's William. Watch your step, you little twit. Sorry. Don't mind him, boy. That's just William Hamley. He was hoping for a princess, but all he got was a boot. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Do you think he forgot something? His dignity, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just making fun about him. Look, you strike me as an honest worker, but we have a right who does all the repairs for us. Then somebody else, maybe? I heard rumors that there's all kinds of work here. Well, unfortunately, it's not builders we're looking for. Actually, it's quite the opposite. I understand. Thank you for your consideration. Walk with me, boy. Oh, I can still look around here, though. That smell. If Tom gets work, will we get to eat this? Uh, I kind of want to click it, but I also kind of don't want to click it. He stands in my way. Really? Oh, he wants to go talk to the Earl. I'm sorry, boy. The Lady Aliena won't see any visitors today. Okay. Lady Aliena? A charming young woman. She lives on top of the keep. Like a princess? Well, no. Although, I suppose she would make a splendid queen indeed. For now, she is just the Earl of Shiring's daughter. And quite good at her role, if I may say so. There really is a princess in that tower. Oh, I can probably tell Martha about it. I want to see the lady. My, you are just as rude as her previous visitor, aren't you? All want, but no <laughs> manners. Can I see her? Please. May I see her? Oh. May I? No. As I said already, she won't receive any more visitors today. At least not any scoundrels. Not after that Hamley boy tried to propose to her. Again. She'd rather enjoy some quiet than another wide-eyed piglet who thinks himself a minstrel. Now don't start singing, please. Hamley? Yes, Percy Hamley's son, William. Now, off you go. Percy Hamley? Have I heard that name before? Sounds familiar. Percy. And farewell to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, we gotta work on your manners a little bit. That must be the Earl. He looks like an old green winter. Uh, actually, let's see if we can, like, maybe distract... Oh, there's a ladder. Something on the ground fell off the table. What's written on it? Can I get it? Oh, really? Letter dated December 25th, 1135. Lady Aliena. I await our union with great excitement. My father is one of the richest men in the country, and he is the Earl of Shiring. We shall be as powerful as no other family. But you need not blush about our upcoming meeting, my lady. You will suit me well. My father is building up us a, a house. You will look clean 
Uh, you will oh cook, sorry, clean, host guests and tend to my horses. Long night shall be your reward, <laughs> William Hamley. I can see why she doesn't want to marry this jerk. Ooh, but he's building a house. Maybe they need a mason? Let's see if we can eat that soup. It's probably bad. Probably a bad idea. Huh? Huh? And Oh he just takes it. So tasty. I guess I can give that to Alfred so he stopped being grumpy. So I have something for Alfred, I have something for Tom, I have something for Martha. So heard about anyone else who might need a mason? Hmm. Last summer they were building at the monastery in Shaftesbury. Even a fool can see these buildings need work. Kick it in. Not worrying about like his stalls and his set. kitchens. It might be something else. Uh, they tell Tom about Alfred. Alfred is angry. What? Why? He says you're selfish and don't care about him. Thank you for telling me, Jack. I, I will talk to him later. Cool. Did you know there's a princess living here? Well, I heard the Earl has a daughter, but that's about it. Ah, uh, they refuse you. What do you need for uh, need work for or money? <laughs> oh, I guess he doesn't know all of these what things. What do you need work for? It pays. You buy shelter and clothing, and we don't have to starve. Not everyone can live in a forest, boy. No. No. People need to be around people, and for that. Things have to be set in stone, like the laws in towns, or rents, or wages. If everyone did whatever they liked, things would get very bad very quickly. Yeah. Alright. Can't you work somewhere else? Not if we want to eat tonight. They refused you, huh? They refused you. Oh, just because work really falls into one's lap, that doesn't mean there is none. I'll give this place a look over while you tell your mother to be patient. Alright. What exactly are you looking for? What are you looking for? Something to convince the Earl that keeping things the way they are won't do for long. Could be something small, like washed out mortar or a loose column. Now, I need to see the hole before I can carve the rock. Tom needs work. I must keep an eye out for things to repair. Alright. I'm going to talk to some people. You just keep an eye out. And if you I see something I can fix, yeah. let me know. I'll let you know. I bet you I need to like destroy the world or something with that. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I didn't see anything broken here. I don't know if I should use this thing. Where we can oh, look at that. See? I was just saying. Big gap. Is it stable? One of the walls looks broken. I was just saying if I should use this to see if there's any hotspots I missed for these kind of things. Where you have to repair stuff. Let's actually go back here first. First of all, let's give this thing to Alfred. Get some bonus points with him. I'm sure he likes me eventually, right? I'm not gonna give up on you Where yet, you, you jerk. Just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see we're gonna be good friends. There you go. Yeah. And you put it in your pocket. That's kind of gross. Hey, Martha, I saw a princess. Or oh, I heard about a princess. <laughs> there is one. What? The there princess. is a princess here. Oh, show me. Ah. My lady? Yes, Matthew? There are two children downstairs, desperately oh. wanting to see you. How come children? I can see you now? A rather cheerful little girl, and an <laughs> annoying boy. Well, considering that it is my role to tend to my father's guests, I believe I can see them. Your father let you renounce a wedding. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you declined this as well. <laughs> but a cheerful little girl? And an annoying boy. <laughs> we will get along. You may bring them up. 
Her voice sounds so familiar. Also, she looks like the girl from Brave. Oh, it's you. I noticed you and your parents from my window. What can I do for you? I'm a little bit surprised. Um, that they let us in. You're quite shy, aren't you? Would you like something to eat? But they won't serve food yet. They do what I tell them. I will have Matthew get you some bread. Yes, please. <laughs> Say something clever. Where's your mother? Oh, he's just not My mother saying died. anything. Aren't you sad? I was, but that was a long time ago. My brother Richard can't even remember her. <clears throat> My mother's <laughs> dead too. When did she die? Last week. Oh. Who's that woman with you then? Oh, she really watched us, huh? That's my mother. And where's your father? Don't really know. Say nothing. Did he run off? Some men are such beasts. Well, we don't really know what happened to him. Oh, I never had one, I guess. I never had a father. <laughs> Where did you come from, then? From my mother. All young things come from their mothers. What have fathers got to do with it? I oh boy. You should have a word with your mother. <laughs> yeah, probably. Come on, I want to show you something. I'm really confused why they just suddenly let me up though. Is it just because that little girl was me? Or maybe I sequence break something here? Have maybe you I missed some information. No. Wow. All the people look so small, like little mice. You must be up here every day. I used to, but nowadays I try to hold myself back. Why? We are about to make some great enemies. If our first assault fails, they may want to lay siege to our castle, so I will have to get used to staying up here for a long while. I suppose this view will bore me soon enough. Till then, I'm trying to keep it special. And you're sharing it with us. I don't think that I'd ever get bored by this. Come on, let's go back down. Matthew will take you to your parents. Hmm. The princess told me the Earl is expecting an attack. How did it go? Oh, she was so pretty. Don't you agree, Jack? Hmm. <laughs> nice. The princess saw me, yeah. Not the walls looks broke. Interesting. Weird. I'm really still surprised that uh, we could just go up there now or something. Alright, cool. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. Ooh, no, stay here. Oops. I didn't mean to talk to you. Have you found Tom? Yes. Uh, he's still trying to get work. He's still trying to get work. Then you should go back to him and learn how he succeeds. What if okay. he fails? Well, you won't. he is stubborn and proud. Whatever happens, there will be a lesson. Yeah. I actually just wanted to turn around my character to say we are unfortunately have to end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.